cannabis contains a naturally occurring, non-psychoactive compound called cannabidiol, employed in cosmetic and therapeutic applications. Not to be confused with THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, the primary psychoactive component of cannabis. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am talking about cannabidiol, CBD, is a primary component in the cannabis plant. CBD, a wonder ingredient in anything from face creams to oils that purport to reduce anxiety, exploded in 2019. Large-scale changes to how cannabis are handled in the U.S. have been brought about by the Farm Bill, which U.S. President Donald Trump signed into law. Want to know more? Let's get the video started. The CBD market is booming, with conservative estimates stating it will reach $16 billion in the U.S. by 2025. The plant extract is already present in cheeseburgers, toothpicks, and breath fresheners. According to a poll of 5,000 people performed by the Brightfield Group, a cannabis market research company, more than 60% of CBD users have used it to treat anxiety. Depression, sleeplessness, and chronic discomfort follow. For instance, Kim Kardashian West used the lotion after freaking out over the birth of her fourth child. Bubba Watson, a renowned golfer, nods off to sleep while listening to it. Also taking part is Martha Stewart's French Bulldog. CBD or cannabidiol is the most common active component in marijuana. While Convention on Biological Diversity CBD, is a critical ingredient in medical marijuana, it can be synthesized in a lab or extracted directly from the hemp plant, which is related to the marijuana plant. One of marijuana's numerous components, CBD, does not produce a high a World Health Organization report claims that CBD doesn't have any impacts on people that would suggest abuse or dependence. No proof using pure CBD causes any issues with public health. The benefits of CBD for anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder are promoted. Additionally, it is advertised as a sleep aid. The claim that CBD is non-psychoactive and that users can benefit from the plant's health properties without getting high is a factor in its appeal or the midnight pizza munchies. The marketing for hemp is expanding while hemp plants are. There doesn't appear to be a place too sacred for CBD, from oils and nasal sprays to lollipops and suppositories. Dr. Brad Ingram, an associate professor of pediatrics at the University of Mississippi Medical Center, described all the current wacky uses for CBD as the monster that has taken over the room. He oversees a research trial that gives CBD to young patients with drug-resistant epilepsy. The financial sector has a crucial leveraging role in shifting economic sectors toward having more beneficial effects on the environment. As the world strengthens its environmental goals and develops new methods to monitor ecological loss, the need for the financial community to take action will grow louder. Executive Secretary of the CBD, Elizabeth Maruma Marima by fostering a better understanding of nature's importance for the financial sector and offering insight into the Convention on Biological Diversity CBD, procedure, the new financial sector guide for the Convention on Biological Diversity seeks to mobilize financial institutions to ensure a world that values nature. The financial sector needs nature because its loss puts our economy in danger. Financial sector participants can reduce nature loss and align their financial flows with outcomes that are beneficial to wildlife by promoting and calling for an ambitious and transformative post-2020 global biodiversity framework. Working with and joining initiatives in support of biodiversities such as the Business for Nature and Finance for Biodiversity pledges an appeal for action and a willingness by everyone to work together, engage with businesses, modify their investment plans, and to enact new laws and regulations. Educating people about the value of nature to the financial sector is becoming increasingly important. Global economies are at risk due to ongoing biodiversity loss. The financial industry, which is highly exposed to nature, can play a crucial role in changing a society that values nature. While preliminary clinical research and animal studies indicate CBD may help reduce pain, more studies are required to assess these results fully. Although CBD is typically harmless, it might cause adverse effects such as fatigue and changes in appetite. And it can help the economy grow more substantially. That's it for today, folks. See you in the following video with lots of new information. Until then, ring the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Till then see ya.